we're going out on the Ohio River. You got everything out of the truck? Today we're doing something that we've been wanting to do a long time. A lot of people think anybody who do something like this, they're crazy. We call it groping, you call it hogging, noodling, whatever you want to call it. Mickey Craig, he's one of our yep. finest. And uh, Joe Stubbs is going to be along with us today. I've been doing this a long time, and he's probably as good a hand grabber as anybody I've been with. So we'll, we'll catch some fish today. I will be the uh, silent, fairly silent observer while you guys get out and do the dirty work. And you do it, uh, as we call it, under fair chase conditions. There's a lot of natural uh, stuff out here that you look for. If you got to know where some holes are, it's got to be the right time of the year, which is when. The catfish go to spawn when the water temperature approaches 80 degrees. We're going to go out and we're going to find crevices. OK, when I talk about a crevice, a catfish, he wants to go in a hole where there's one way in, one way out. Nature has him to protect those eggs. The male and the female will go in about the same time. She'll squirt the eggs, he'll run her out, and then he'll stand there and guard the eggs. That's rare in nature. Usually, the guy does his part, and then he's, he's like out of there. But in this situation, he actually guards the nest, so you're, you're looking for basically big males. We're, we're going to concentrate on big catfish, fish anywhere from 20 pounds plus. We're fooling in areas out here where we got big hunks of concrete, we've got uh, maybe old barges, and some of these holes go back 6, 8, 10 feet. The first thing we'll do is go down and feel for a hole. We might feel with our feet, uh, we feel for our hands, and we'll go back and see if we can locate a fish. If when you go into the hole, if there's a fish in there, that hole is going to drop down because that fish is in there fanning. And he's fanning, he's creating a, a crevice. So the second Joe or me go in there, when that hole drops down, we're thinking fish right off the bat. Next thing, we're going to feel for a fish, and a fish feels like a fish. We'll just feel. If it's a male and female in there, we'll pet them moving around. I'll come up and say, Joe, give me a stringer. Okay, he'll give me a stringer, we'll go back and we'll try stringing. But if the hole goes back and we can't feel, we've got these sticks that we can use. You notice there's no hook in here. It's easier to feel for a fish, you're going back, you're feeling, feeling, feeling without a hook. Feel, 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 bonk, you touch him. You bring the stick back out, you put the hook in, you go back in, you touch the fish, you slide it underneath the fish and sit, just give a little jerk. You don't yank it hard, just enough to give it a little jerk. You let the string go. He pulls the hook out, you take the stick out of the hole and you got the fish on a string. Then you work him up, work him up, then you go down and you try to find him and grab him to string him underneath the water and bring him on out of the hole. Big fish. Well, don't let him out of the hole. We're gonna go down and ease this fish up to the mouth of this hole. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna reach and grab him and try to string him. Gotcha. He's fighting. <laughs> he got out. Let him out. Gosh darn it. You were supposed to block the hole. Well, I got my foot in the hole. He was, about, he was a good fish. How big? What'd you guess? 40 pounds. No kidding. I don't know that I've ever not caught a fish. <laughs> we're going to catch a fish. There's a place right down here where we took a 54 pounder out last year. Is that the, the biggest you've caught? 54 is the biggest I've ever caught. Wow, that's a huge fish. When you're hand grabbing, you're not trying to entice fish with bait. You're actually hunting for fish. That fish is trying to uh, hide from you, so to speak. You found a fish yet, Joe? You got him hooked? I got him hooked and strung. You got him strung? Oh, good boy, Joe. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, he's a nice one, 20 pounds. Okay, it's a boy, so we, we're gonna keep him. If it's a girl, we turn her. Turn now, her. how can you tell? Just for those folks who well, don't. Well, the way you tell is a female, she'd have a big belly full of eggs. Cause soon as she squirts the eggs, she's gone. But see, he don't have a he don't have a big fat belly of eggs. Okay, there's one for the cooler. That's dinner right there. The thing about this ramp here, my buddy Joe one time, he was fishing this hole, I was fishing that hole. He says, Mick, I think I feel him. I said, catch him. He hooked my foot. <laughs> you heard him yelling. <laughs> he hooked my foot. Ow. Now, I like to hunt, I like to fish, but these guys right here, 
have lost their ever-loving mind. Look at them crawling back in there, getting all eat up, bit up. I think they're, I think they're crazy. I think it's interesting. I think it's fun. But they can have it. Sportsmen love different challenges, and most of these people have tried different stuff all their life. They look for a different challenge, and if that's not a challenge, I don't know what is. Uh, it's just that next step up. It's, a, it's an immediate challenge against that particular critter. It's up close and personal. Ow! Crap! How's that feel? Ugh. And they can get pretty aggressive. A lot of times those fish are going to bite you. And he's got a pretty big mouth on him. You can see, you know, sometimes <laughs> they'll grab you. And... These fish don't have teeth like a muskie or, or uh, you know, a wall or anything like that. But they, this is like the roughest grade sandpaper. And I'm telling you what, I've seen guys come out bloody. He whopped us pretty good. Is this pretty typical to get a fish this size? Pretty much this time of year uh, or bigger. If you catch a 35 pound fish um, during the day, that's a pretty successful day. Um, but we have catch them as big as 50 pounds and 40 pounds. 20 pound is very, very, very common because the 20 pound fish is probably the best reproducing fish. But this is kind of what we're after. We're after the big fish. And if we catch a big female like this, we'll generally put her back. Uh, we'll keep some of the males, uh, but uh, the smaller fish, the smaller flatheads, we usually turn them back. I'll tell you what, this is, this is just fantastic. A lot of viewers are gonna really love seeing this. And uh, let's get another one. Let's do it.